This is the Daymac Chameleon, sort of a scooter style electric bike that offers some really unique solar charging capabilities and some really cool integrated LEDs. This is a prototype that I'm looking at. However, the bike was successfully funded uh, on Indiegogo in October 2015. And that means they're gonna go ahead and integrate all the LEDs and the solar panels, just refine it a little bit. You know, this is again, rapid prototype or build, but uh, very cool, I must say. You know, when you, when you turn it on um, like this, you can see that the lights come on, even in, in bright daylight, they, they definitely make you visible. And so for safety, if you're riding, uh, that's gonna be great just to have a, a nice visual footprint upgrade. Um, yeah, I really like that. And it's not just blue like this. They actually, I think they have like blue, red, and black frame colors, like the plastic. And then there are just tons of different colors that you can choose on the LEDs. And they're integrated in such a way that they actually light up when you do the turn signals or the brakes. So it's it's highly integrated system here. And um, it's just neat. You know, LEDs go for a long time. They're very bright. They're, they're coming down the side of the saddle right there. Um, that's just, that's awesome. And on the front, the lighting isn't bad either. You know, when you steer, They've, they've got a couple of lights up here that are gonna help keep you visible and then a really bright one down here for lighting up the road. So I like that. That was the first thing I noticed. I wanted to call it out because um, I think it makes it unique. I was doing some, uh, I guess, research on the solar panels here and what they say is 10 hours of, of good sunlight on this and kind of direct from the top would get you maybe like five miles or eight kilometers, something like that. So if you were to try to charge the entire bike like from zero back up, I mean, we're talking 65 hours, so maybe like a full week of it just sitting there, which is like, meh. But of course it comes with a traditional charger as well, and you can, you can charge it up in a matter of hours, like four or five hours. So good to keep in mind. The bike that I'm looking at here has a sealed lead acid battery pack. Kind of see it right there, fairly heavy. They're not gonna get as many charge cycles, but they're a lot, uh, a lot cheaper than lithium ion. Um, it's 84 volts, 12 amp hours, so pretty impressive in terms of uh, overall watt hours. They do have a lithium ion version that you can upgrade to. It's like an extra thousand dollars. And that one's like 84 volts, 24 amp hours. So you really get like kind of double the capacity that way. Um, very cool, very cool. The batteries are removable. They are replaceable. If you wanted to replace the lead acid ones, I think it's like $350. And the overall price point for this is $19.99. So for a $2,000 scooter, um, you know, you're, you're kind of getting in my opinion, a real upgrade from what I've seen on some of the other cheaper scooters. And granted, some of those are only a thousand bucks or 1500. This one has a 500 watt uh, gearless direct drive motor. You can see it's kind of built into this metal casing in the rear wheel. Uh, and 500 watts is, it is impressive, but it doesn't always perform that way. You, you hear like all oh, 500, um, but for whatever reason, like the amps that you're drawing, or maybe just the higher voltage on the battery, this thing zips. Like it really, it really goes and it can definitely top 20 miles per hour. Although there is a setting to limit it to that. Um, so if you wanted to ride this uninsured as a, as a low speed electric bike, you could, it does technically have the pedals, probably the worst pedals I've ever tried on any of these scooter style bikes. I mean, just it's, there's just, look at that. I mean, there's like no, there's hardly any torque. They're directly below the seat. You'd almost have to stand up. It's, it, it's almost look like riding a clown bicycle or something. However, they do fold up, which is good. They kind of stay out of the way. This is really just meant to ride around with the throttle. There's a twist throttle up there. So while we're down here looking at it, I just wanted to say these are 16 by 2.5 inch on the tires and you've got suspension. Uh, kind of on both sides back here, as well as the front. Feels really smooth. And the nice sort of uh, hydraulic disc brakes, front and rear with the motor inhibitor. Um, and these kind of like little shorter, shorter grips here. For my hand, it works just fine. And they've kind of got these metal caps. So if it tips or something, it's not gonna chip. That's what I mean. Like there are a lot of little upgrades with this thing. You got the mirrors and everything, um, kind of like a metal, grab bar back here. I, I really don't think this is meant to be a two person bike. Um, maybe in Asia where I'm sure this is built originally they do that, but a lot of the customization, everything is done in Toronto, Canada at the Daymac headquarters. And again, that box is, is optional, but that's what comes with the solar panels, with the lights. And I think what really makes this special, it's not too much more to, to kind of add that. So um, very cool overall, you know, we've talked about the motor specs. We talked about the battery. I think one of the other things that makes this really unique and I guess before we get to that, you know, we've got the kind of the cast 
maybe aluminum wheels so they're you know not going to go out of true they're going to be pretty pretty rugged um and maybe while we're on this they've got the big sturdy double leg kickstand in the back with kind of the helper bar there to get that up because this is fairly heavy and we're talking like 160 plus pounds especially if you have the lithium or the, i'm sorry the lead acid batteries i tend to use the side kickstand um anyway so you know fairly heavy shipping might end up being um a, a little bit more expensive a couple hundred a few hundred bucks i, I can't say damoc does have a warranty on their bikes though that tend to be like a year for the motor and frame and then six months on everything else um yeah just i guess that's it you know it's nice to have the storage and all that stuff uh i i reviewed like the volt bike i think it was the metro plus a while back at first i thought this was like very much the same thing uh, but they don't have like the flimsy plastic enclosure this one's just open all the time and they've got a little cup holder here's the light selector so you've got a little remote to control the leds Here's the ignition. So I, I like that, you know, you, you do have to leave the key in when riding, unless you do remote start. So you can start it just using this, this keychain fob with that lightning bolt. Of course, there's also the alarm and then there's locked and unlocked. So you can kind of, you know, feel like you have some security. You can park this thing without actually physically locking it up because no one's gonna pedal this thing away. Um, and you've got the little alarm. So, you know, very, very cool. I like that. Um, and then, you know, the display system up here. So we've just kind of got a basic speed indicator, voltage indicator, odometer, real, real basic, but it does have this nice little backlit kind of blue glow going on. So if you're riding at night, then we've got lights over here, sort of running lights, full on brights over here, turn signals, you know, it's very, very cool. Really annoying horn. Got to have that. <laughs> so... I think that's I think that's kind of it. I tend to ride it like this, sitting upright. You know, my my knees have a little bit of clearance here. Um, I'm only like five nine, so I'm not a huge guy. Uh, I think most people could kind of get along with this that aren't too too tall. You know, as soon as you start to get over six feet, it might get a little a little cramped. You can kind of scoot yourself back on that seat if you need to. Um, so yeah, you know, it's pretty good roundup. Got the fenders and everything. I I I like it. And then the seat. You know, there's a you can kind of open that up and do some storage that way. Um, but I did want to show you uh, the, the app too, because there's there's just so much that you can actually control on this bike. It's not just like on and off. There's This is a sort of a smart electric scooter. Um, the app is iOS and Android compatible, and it's it hasn't been completely finished. I'm here with Akili. How's it going, man? Hey, how's it going? Good, I'm good. doing great. So you do marketing here at yes, Daymac. That's right. Awesome. And it's been fun to, to poke around at this, but you told me it's going to be polished up a little bit. That's correct. In the future. So here, let me, maybe we can step in the shade and since this is sort of a backlit tablet. Here. Okay. So what is, you know, what fast start, soft start, what do those do? Fast start, uh, fast start and soft start, uh, change the acceleration in terms of how you're like, if, if you want to start slowly or start fast. Okay. Um, over speed. Over speed allows it to go uh, like over the 32 kilometers an hour. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's so that's like the off-road version. Or maybe if you yeah. had a license and you wanted to ride this as almost like a, a moped or like a motorcycle. That's correct. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, looks like cruise control. We got speed limit, reverse speed limit. Okay. Yeah. So that's so you don't back up too, too e fast. Exactly. <laughs> Get that's flying right. off the handles. You got that. Um, battery current limit. Oh, man, I mean, there's just hall sensor phase angle what's that so the hall uh hall sensor phase angle is how well it's going to be able to do an inc uh work on inclines oh. so you can make it so that it's easier to go up hills and whatnot okay eco mode i'm sure it's a slower acceleration yep. so you save uh, battery on that yep. do you know what the range is on this kind of estimated uh the range on this estimated is between 60 to 80 kilometers wow so pretty pretty solid yes okay under voltage stress so motor lock so that's again the security kind of thing mm -hmm. and then you got re restore factory settings so you know it's not the prettiest thing but there's just a ton in there right. um i haven't really seen that on too many scooters like this yeah and then when the, the uh, default screen has this speedometer here mm -hmm. and so as you as you uh yeah. accelerate it shows you the uh, how you're going how fast you're going yeah, okay so. great anything else to say about that uh no that's it i think it's time to hop on this thing awesome. yeah i already rode this around earlier i mean it's it's fast it's like it's kind of intense um, I think I had it sort of unlocked. I do have my motorcycle license. I got my helmet on and we're on a, 
a not so crowded area. Um, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna just try to show you the pedals. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so this is, this is like the loophole pedal thing they've got going on. Them and like a lot of other, you know, electric scooters that can classify as a bike. But you know, no one's gonna be pedaling this around. That's just, it's it kind of ridiculous. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to that twist throttle. Oh boy. So a little bit of plastic bouncing noise is going on. And you just you zip. I mean this thing is it's much more of a vehicle than an electric bike. Just zips. Nice. Thanks, man. I mean, this thing is, the it's got the same size motor as the Beast, and the battery has a higher voltage. I mean, it feels faster and more powerful. Again, it has the slick tires and we're on the road, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm impressed. Like, it's pretty cool. to have those good brakes with this extra weight going on um, you know and I noticed there was a little bit of speed wobble almost on the front on the steering at those higher speeds I am just using one hand though so you know keep that in mind this is not the safest way to ride um, but again I'm on streets that there really aren't too many cars and I'm doing my best to uh, ride safely Wow, <laughs> well, that's the Daymac Chameleon. For the full write-up on this, with more information and stuff, I'll see you back at uh, electricridereview.com. Do ride safe, um, ride legally out there, and uh, you know, see you back at the site with questions or anything. Cheers.